The Backyardigans retain all of the caveats surrounding what is needed to become a meme. They're nostalgic, the show was produced with early 2000s CG which has a sort of ethereal look to it, and the music produced in the show is instantly recognisable, and, well, it's good. You probably began hearing this music over and over again when the song Castaways hit both the weirder and mainstream areas of the internet, providing the perfect storm for popularity. This occurred a little while ago in early April, eventually prompting the musical dissection of the song by YouTuber Adam Neely on the 26th of May this year, released during what many believe to be the peak of the song's popularity. As it turns out, the guy who composed the music for Castaways is kind of really damn good at his job. His name is Douglas Weisselman and he's worked with tons of famous musicians. At any rate, as time would go by, other Backyardigans songs would infiltrate different areas of meme culture, notably working hard in areas such as TikTok. This would lead to Backyardigans making it in the top of Spotify streaming charts during late May, and continuing to hold a large presence in pop music. Of course, it's no secret that the show has featured in meme culture before, in the same way that many children's shows of the early 2000s received their own meme template garnered from scenes out of context, so too has this one. The phrase, why aren't we alive, is perhaps something one wouldn't expect to hear from a kid's show, but that was the charm of Backyardigans. Every episode revolved around a different theme, and as such, every theme inspired different songs and moods. As of this writing, the songs Castaways, Into the Thick of It, and International Super Spy are the most popular ones used in memes, but the fact that these songs are often utilised often has interesting implications for the modern state of pop culture. What used to happen before the internet is that people would say, remember when we were kids and that TV show or song was around? That was so good. And then people would nod and sometimes it'd be on the radio or something. However, nowadays with the internet, pop culture doesn't really ever go away. At least not in a spiritual sense, because it is constantly available for anyone to access and often for free. Of course the Backyard Again's reached the top Spotify charts, because people remember watching the show and want to relive that nostalgia, and there was 100% no reason why they can't. Turns out heaps of people love the song Castaways, amongst others, and thanks to meme culture people can relive that fun music together as much as they like. It's one of the distinctly unique advantages meme culture has to offer, and definitely an indication of the fact that the way nostalgia is consumed has utterly changed over the past few decades. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>